Hello everyone and welcome to the Goverland YouTube channel. My name is Raul and today we'll be taking a tour of the Goverland Remote Command Line Utility. This is a very powerful utility that allows us to get command line access to our workstations um, and do a lot of administration behind the scenes without the users knowing. So let's begin. We'll start by opening the Goverland Management Console and in here we'll see there's three ways to actually start the remote console. Um, the first way is in the Goverland Tools toolbar section. Here you'll see that we have the remote console as well as the task manager and other utilities. The second way we can start started is by searching for a computer account in our directory. After we have the search result we can right click it and from the context menu you'll see that we have uh, the remote console as well as many other tools that we can use against this computer. The third way is to set focus on this computer account and it'll change our view to focus on it then we can double click the remote console based on this computer account. Here you'll see that we're focused on the PJ Lab computer and the account that's actually logged into it. So all the commands that we run here will be in the context of that user account. One of the nice features that we have, uh, it's very simple but handy, is the ability to copy right from the console. So we can copy this text and paste it into let's say notepad or an email and send it to anyone uh, that might need this information. It's a simple feature but comes in handy. The next feature we're going to go over is the connect to option and what this allows us to do is switch the computer that we're currently focused on. So we can enter let's say this server computer here that we want to see the uh, remote command line for and then we can actually switch to see who is logged into this computer and start remote command line as that computer and user. So here you'll see that we've switched to the server computer and we're actually running commands as the user Gandalf. Here we'll run some arbitrary commands just so you can see. Oh, IP config and we can get some basic output. The next example is we'll show you how to run some simple PowerShell commands from in here. Uh, we can just do that by starting the command with PowerShell and then putting our command, our PowerShell commandlet in quotes. And what's going to happen is the output for PowerShell is going to come back to our remote command, command line screen. So here you can see that we're actually running PowerShell commands within the remote command line utility. We also have the ability to save very long commands. Let's say this command here, which gets all printers from WMI uh, on this system. It's a very long command, but it does give us an output. What we can do is actually copy this command into the clipboard and add it to our favorites list. Now, this here is a list of all the commands that we can run with a single click. So I'm going to click Modify List. I'm going to add a new command. Here we're going to paste the copied command. We're going to give it a display name. This is a friendly name that we can refer to it in the Send Command List. And we'll give it a brief description, such as Get Printers via WMI. We can also share this command with other Goverland users. Once we click this share button and hit apply, you'll see the sharing icon is set. And then we hit OK. So other Goverland users will be able to use this very easily. Now we can simply click on the command and run it with a single click. Comes in handy when you have very, very long, complicated commands. 
and this is the end of our command line tutorial. Be sure to click the subscribe button or visit www.govland.com for more information and your full featured 30-day trial. Thank you very much.